I have to admit, I take a little bit of a sick pleasure out of seeing the reactions of some of you sometimes, and it gives me a great sense of enjoyment and humor to see people that react the way they do when I talk about people like the fans of CM Punk and Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler and the like reacting a certain way, only wanting certain people pushed, only liking a certain style of wrestling, and only liking one certain thing, which is pretty much in-ring action. And I laugh and I laugh and I laugh when I see people get upset about that and people get pissed about that. But the fact of the matter remains, it by and large is damn true. It truly is. Don't you dare with your flaming keyboard fingers of fire. Don't you dare, Schleg Daddy. Don't you dare take cast and stereotype us. We do not want only one certain thing, even though that match right there was four and three quarter stars. It was the greatest motherfucker wrestling match until the next time that CM Punk and Daniel Bryan face off. Listen, the bottom line is, is Hogan Marks, like myself, always act a certain way. Bret Hart Marks do, Shawn Michaels Marks do, Austin, Rock, Cena, Orton Marks, Triple H Marks, what have you. We all have our things. Okay? Get over it. If we can't have fun at our own expense, then are we really having any fun at all? Are we really enjoying anything at all? That's what I ask. And I say no. you got to be able to have fun with yourself. Now, it did not surprise me to see the reaction that I got with my Raw review this week from some people that have sat there and tried to say that Daniel Bryan joining the Wyatt family was a good thing, and in part trying to call me out and saying, I can't believe the Schleg Daddy who emphasizes storytelling and etc. so damn much all the time would be opposed to this because it makes a lot of logical sense. Flat out, my opinion, my opinion, is that the people that are saying these things are the ones that are the raging Daniel Bryan fans, and there's nothing wrong with that. Daniel Bryan has worked incredibly hard to get in the spot that he is, and he deserves everything that he gets in a positive way. Period. I just feel like it's a lot of you sitting there saying, well, since he's involved with it, it's got to be freaking awesome. No, there's plenty of shit that Hogan was involved with over the years that was absolutely terrible. And I've called him out on it repeatedly. Plenty of bad things Rock was involved in, Austin was involved in, you name it. They all weren't great 100% of the time, and not everything that was done with them 100% of the time was great either. Period. End of discussion on that. So I sit there and I see some of the comments, well, we've got to see how this plays out. We've got to see how this plays out. Why? When was the last time that WWE really truly got something right with anybody in terms of a top-tier main event storyline? Nexus. Summer of Punk. CM Punk heel turn. How did those turn out? They were done very poorly. They were horrible. Orton Christian. Remember, oh, we got to see how this plays out. It was shit. And now I'm supposed to sit there as a jaded, cynical WWE fan who, by the way, has been made that way because of the WWE storytelling incompetence over the past several years. I'm supposed to sit there and say, oh, Daniel Bryan joining the Wyatt family makes a lot of storyline sense. And I get the logic train that a lot of people are coming from on this. But here's my argument to this. When we talk about storytelling and all of this, all of that, I'm looking at this from a slightly different perspective here. You don't take the most over guy in your company and divide the fans on him and make the fans, you know, uncertain of whether or not they're supposed to cheer a guy. When he's one of the few guys in your entire fucking company right now that gets a unanimous reaction from the fans. Randy Orton doesn't get that. John Cena sure the fuck doesn't get that. All these years I've been trying to make Cena the top guy and the hero, and he still gets booed by half, if not more than half, the audience pretty much everywhere they fucking wrestle. But yet Daniel Bryan consistently gets the top babyface reaction, unanimous across the board. And now you want to sit there and divide the audience, and you want to make the fans uncertain of whether or not they're supposed to cheer him or not, and you're entertaining the possibility of turning Daniel Bryan fucking heel by aligning him with the Wyatt family. I don't give a shit what you say about, well, what he said makes sense. Of course it does make sense. It doesn't mean that they needed to fucking go there. This would be like in the late 80s when Warrior was getting over like a million bucks, and he was getting to the point where he was maybe as over, if not more over, than Hogan, and just before he got to that point where he could truly... Get to that mantle of being the top guy, you would have had him join the Heenan fucking family because the Heenan family beat him down for like a month and a half and he got tired of it. It's fucking stupid. This is just another pathetic attempt by the WWE to take anybody that runs the risk of getting more over than John Cena and trying to flip him heel so that way it kills his momentum and they don't risk 
ruining the golden child. See Ryback. I need not say any more.